right, everyone, we will go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us for our New Line Interactive webinar on New Line Broadcast, one of our new softwares that is launching November 1st. My name is Ellen Connor. I am the product training specialist here at New Line. And today, again, I'm going to share with you one of our new pieces of software called New Line Broadcast. Again, I do want to mention before um, we really get going is that throughout the uh, webinar here, if you have any questions, please ask those in our Q&A feature within Zoom. And at the end of our call today, I will go ahead and answer those for you. So New Line Broadcast. What that is, again, it's going to be released November 1st. And it is a new piece of software that will come with our new firmware update. And how it works is that it allows for students and teachers, when a teacher has content up on the panel, they're gonna be able to cast that to all of the student devices. So if you are familiar with one of our other pieces of software, it's called New Line Cast, that allows for a student that has content onto on their device and they can cast this up on the panel for everyone in the classroom to see. Now, how New Line Broadcast works, is it's gonna allow for a teacher to pull up their lesson and their content here, and they're able to share it with the many devices that are inside that classroom. So it's a great for the one-to-one -one programs that you have going on, and perhaps some distance learning as well. Now, as far as the devices that are gonna be able to be used with it, you can use Chromebooks, iPads, Windows devices, iPhones, Android phones, all of those are gonna be supported with New Line Broadcast. So even if you have a school district that has students bringing their own devices, they're gonna be able to use the New Line Broadcast. This is gonna be great, like I said, for those one-to-one -one environments, but also if you have a large classroom where students can't always see maybe that panel that they have in the classroom, they have it nice and close to them in the front there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you how New Line Broadcast works. So again, New Line Broadcast is gonna be available November 1st and it's gonna be within that new firmware update. Now, what I have in front of me here is I have a Chromebook, just because a lot of the districts are, have one-to-one -one with Chromebooks, that's what I've got there. And what I, we have here on the panel is if I select on our gadgets button here, Hidden in there is going to be New Line Broadcast. And I'm going to go ahead and new, launch New Line Broadcast. And down in the right hand corner off to the side, so it's not very visible to anyone, I have a little broadcast symbol. And when I tap on Broadcast here, what it will do is it will come up with this screen, and down at the bottom it says Start Broadcast. And when I select Start Broadcast, We'll get this going here. There we go. When I select on that, it's gonna give me a URL to visit as well as an ID. Now from my Chromebook here in the front, I already have that displaynote.com slash broadcast already visited. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that login ID there, that broadcast ID. And I will point out that that broadcast ID will change each session that the teacher starts here. And once I've logged in here, I know it will be small on my device here, but I now have the same content as the panel on my device here. Now, when I exit out and decide to go to my computer here, and let's say I like to use Google Drive, um, anything really you've got up on the panel here, it's gonna mirror it down at the bottom. So right now I have my measuring uh, Google slide here. And if I tap on it here and decide to move things around, I'm able to see that down at the bottom as well. The same goes as far as writing. If I decide to use some of these writing tools we have that I use every day in the classroom, students are gonna be able to see that down at their device as well. So again, that is New Line Broadcast. It's just gonna be a great environment for one-to-one -one where you have students that can't see always the panel and you want to have that available right in front of them as a visual aid. Now, New Line Broadcast, just a couple of things about it. Go ahead and exit out here. There we go. 
There is down at the bottom where I kind of launch it. There is a URL that if I wanted to be able to share that with, you know, the public and have lots of people join that outside of the classroom, I can share that link there for if I want to. Now, New Line Broadcasts, this is meant as just kind of a one-way communication and the fact that the content on the panel will go out to those devices. The devices will not have the ability to write and interact with content up on the panel. So again, it's going to be more of a visual aid for that. So that is our New Line broadcast, pretty short and sweet there. Again, it will come on the new firmware update. We will be releasing New Line broadcast November 1st, and this will be available on the RS, the VN, as well as the X series. So thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, um, feel free to again ask those in the Q&A section and I will answer those for you right now. All right, I will wait just a few more minutes. It looks like, oh, we've got a question here. Someone asked about the uh, firmware updates. Yes, the firmware updates will absolutely be available to you if you have the RS, the VN, or the X series. What you can do is you can contact me. My information's down in the bottom right-hand corner. If you know your um, reseller, go ahead and reach out to them or if you have our support email, go ahead and reach out to one of us and we'll send that over to you um, with a firmware update to you and we will get that all squared away. There was a question, thank you, this is a great question. Do all of the devices have to be on the same network? No, the devices do not all need to be on the same network. Um, some of the exceptions can be with the Apple products and just the nature of how they are set up but if you are using the URL, you do not all have to be on the same network as the panel in those devices. All right, so it looks like those are the questions that we have so far. I again wanna thank you for joining us for our webinar. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me or your Newsline sales representative and they can help answer some questions for you and get you squared away with Newline Broadcast. Thank you for joining and I hope you have a good rest of your day.